Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be reviewing the new ColourPop palettes that recently came to Ulta. This is kind of like a spring launch, so that's kind of what I'm calling them, like their new spring palettes. If you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I upload videos five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I would love to have you come join my channel. And let's go ahead and get started. So these palettes retail for $14 each. You can pick them up at Ulta. I don't think they're on the ColourPop website. Sometimes ColourPop does that, where certain ColourPop palettes just go to Ulta. And these are one of them. So we have Wanna Be, which is bee themed and like, oh, so cute. Look at these like warm honey tones. Oh my gosh. And then we also have So Fly, which has a dragonfly on it. Oh my gosh. I love this. Oh, look at that. This is a little more pinky, but we also have that really cute blue in there as well. So um, this collection also launched with some creme gel liners and some lip glosses, and then some Super Shock blushes and highlighters. I did decide to pass on those because I just didn't really need any of them. And I just thought, you know what? The palette stood out to me the most, so that's what I'm gonna get. Also, I don't know why I just zoomed in. I thought we were just gonna go ahead and get started with makeup, like a get ready with me, so my bad. Um, but <laughs> let's go through swatches. The first one I wanted to talk about was the Wanna Be palette. Now, this kind of, when I first saw it, I was like, okay, this is cute, but like, it kind of reminds me of Low Ray of Sunshine. And don't get me wrong, Low Ray of Sunshine is super, super cute, but it is all matte. The pans are also smaller, so I'm just gonna kind of do a side-by-side -side here. This is Low Ray of Sunshine, this is Wannabe. So we obviously have some metallic-y shimmers in here. This one is completely matte. A little more sunflower tones, not so much these honey tones. So just letting you know if you do have this one it, it's similar but these are deeper and this is all matte so again this is nine shades the first one is pollen for you honeycomb to be buzzed sweet much worker bee oh beehive so nectar and beezy <laughs> so super cute i really nice color range too and we have very light shades we have very a very deep shade in there really nice for a nine pan palette Next we have So Fly, which I was on the fence about originally and I'm like, okay, I'll just buy it to review it. <laughs> but swatching it and like trying it out, I'm just like, wow, this is really, really cute. So this is what the palette looks like. Again, we have these like pinky tones in here, which I'm all for like a pinky peachy eyeshadow, especially in the springtime. I think that these shades are perfect for spring, by the way. So first shade we have Flight Path, Skydive, Dragon Tail, Speedy, FYI, Colorful, Depart, Wing Tip, and Damselfly. Cute, I was thinking about like, I originally thought I was gonna do one look with one eye per palette, but I thought, um, let's just kind of mix the two and just kind of see how it goes. I know some of you don't like that, but I really want to utilize both palettes in this video. They are, they're just so cute. And I was really unsure of like what lip color to use because I didn't really know exactly what kind of look I was doing. So we're gonna hold off on that. Okay, oh, I'm so excited. I've been like waiting for these and I showed them in a purchase or pass video last week. And you guys were like, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this review. And I'm like, me too. So I wanna start out with Wanna Be. I think this one I like a little more just like right off the bat because these are like, I just love these tones so much. So we're gonna start out with the shade Buzzed, which is this one right here. The only downfall that I really wanna bring forward is that there are no mirrors in either of these palettes, just letting you know. But I am so excited to review this and I'm, oh my gosh. And I have noticed that these, this formula is very similar. Um, it's, it's the same as every other ColourPop formula. So thank you to ColourPop for just making your formula very consistent. I appreciate it. So I'm just putting this right in the crease, just like this, and you can just see how nicely this is blending. I'm gonna zoom up just a little more for you guys. There we go. Now we kind of have a little bit closer look beautiful tone so i have like both these palettes just open and ready to use 
So I kind of want to incorporate a little bit of this beautiful corally like peachy shade called Colorful from the So Fly palette. And I just need the right brush. Okay, so I'm just going to take this little crease brush here, go into So, I'm sorry, Colorful in the So Fly palette and just kind of like blend that in and just kind of mix them. I love just like mixing eyeshadows and stuff. So there we go. Now we have like a corally, coral honey shade. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Wow, this is super cute. Okay, I wanna go into a little bit of brown on the outer corner. I'm, I'm trying to use like as many shades as possible here. So we're gonna go into the Wanna Be palette. We're gonna go into Worker Bee. I'm just gonna take an angled liner brush. This one is from Luxie and it's the Luxie 207 medium angled shading. I almost said shaving. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda pat. I don't wanna make this look too dark, but I'm just kind of patting like this and then kind of just blending in. And you can just tell like these this color these colors look awesome it's just so springy and cute okay so next i'm gonna take a little bit of this shade in the so fly palette this is called depart it's a little bit more of a deeper brown than worker b was so i'm just gonna take this kind of like smudger pencil type brush i'm gonna go into depart and just kind of pat on the outer corner just right in here. I don't even know what vibe we're going with today. Like, what vibe is this to you? Like a, I don't know, a peachy flower? I don't, I don't know. But I'm just kind of focusing that right in there just to kind of create some, a little bit of dimension. We are gonna go in with a blender brush and blend this out. You guys, I went to the eye doctor today. I got, I ordered new glasses. I have not worn glasses since I, oh gosh, was in high school and I am just so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm just so excited because like I have not had glasses in so long. So I cannot wait to show you guys them once they come in, but they're from the brand Rag and Bone and they're just so cute. I'm going to go with the big fluffy blender. This is a Morphe M504. We're going to take this and just buff and blend. Cause sometimes when you're just like placing color with a smudger brush and kind of look a little weird. So I like to make it look very cohesive. Okay, next we kind of put something on the lid, but I do want to go on the lower lash line and I think I'm going to do this blue color on the lower lash line, which is from the So Fly palette. This is called Wing Tip. And I just thought this would be so cute. Something a little different with all these like honey tones and stuff like that. Just putting a little bit of blue on the lower lash line is so cute. I'm just gonna blend. Oh, maybe I don't like it. <laughs> we'll lighten it up a little bit. But I don't know, it looks a little dark for the lower lash line. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, I did this one a little lighter. I feel like I look a little like uneven in a way so i'm just gonna like take this off <laughs> oh gosh i'm gonna try something different because this was just <laughs> not my vibe okay so my contact was giving me problems so i had to like take it out and put it back in and now my eye looks a little weird so this one looks a little red i'm sorry <laughs> um let's go in to oh gosh we need to go in like I'm just thinking like maybe we could just I wanted to do the blue on the lower lash line now I'm like dang it like I'm just kind of salty about it so let's go back into worker B which is that brown shade that we used earlier I hope I didn't screw up my eyeshadow too much which I think I kind of did I like I'm just talking about the eye doctor and now I'm like my contacts bothering me <laughs> but yes we're gonna go into worker B just stamping a pencil brush in there this is just from morphe I'm just gonna blend my eyes also look weird now because I took off when I took off the eyeshadow I took off some of my concealer and a tip of mine is like when you're putting on concealer make sure you're blending all the way up to your lash line or else you can still have like that little bit of like discoloration and it kind of can look a little make you look a little tired and you know all that fun stuff so now my concealer looks 
super weird. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so oh, there's so many beautiful colors in here. There is Sweet Much, which is this one. Um, there's Skydive. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll put maybe I'll put Skydive like on the lower lash line and bring it up into my inner corner. Oh my gosh, that'd be so beautiful. Okay. Skydive is in the So Fly palette too, by the way. But look at this. So a really nice tip that I like to do if you're new here. Um, I like to bring in just like a little bit of shimmer over here and then just do a little pop pop on the inner corner. And it, I think it just kind of like brings the eyeshadow together. I actually learned this tip from Tati. She likes to do this a lot. She used to do it with Stila Glitter and Glow Shadows. So like back in the day when I used to really like those, I did that too. But now I just do it with eyeshadow and... I love the way it like brightens up my eyes. I love the way that it just, I just love the way it looks. So for the lid, I forgot what that, name that was called. I have been filmed in a couple days if you can't tell. So we're gonna go into Sweet Much. It's kind of like a yellowish, um, like almost like a honey tone. It is so beautiful. So I'm just gonna kind of take it and just pat. There we go. And we kind of have like that golden yellow type color on the lid. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I think there is, so I'm just going to like blend out the edges here. Because I am like a perfectionist. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in with some liner and mascara. We need to figure out a lip color. All right, I've decided I found this Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick in the shade Easy. It's kind of like a warm toned, like honey brownish nude. And I thought it'd be perfect. And this does have like almost like a, like a shimmery, not shimmery, I don't want to say shimmer, like a satin finish. So over the top, I'm going to do a little bit of gloss. This is the shade Bubbly from Anastasia. And I just thought it would really just tie in everything, giving it both that pinky, but yellow vibe so there we go i'm gonna go ahead and do some liner and lashes we're gonna use the essence waterproof eyeliner pen the CoverGirl lash blast clean and then layer it with a little bit of essence lash princess curl and volume and i will be right back is the finished look I think these palettes are super cute but keep in mind I think the big thing with a lot of ColourPop launches they launch a lot and so if you already have these colors maybe be mindful of that because I definitely have these colors um, I like the look I like these palettes but just keep that in mind because yeah <laughs> and I do think that they're really pretty though. These are great for spring. They're so cute. I love like the bee and like the flower and the dragonfly type theme. I think these are really cute. I do like wanna be better. I would say that. I do like that better. Um, these are more like my speed, but I do think this, um, I do think the So Fly palette is adorable. I would love to use these six shades right here and create like a nice neutral like corally peachy eye look. I think that would be super super fun. So let me know if you want me to do that in a video or if you're like girl just do that in your personal time like I don't need to see it. Yeah that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have not already please be sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell. I am here every single day. Monday through Friday. So yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.